Paul, your assessment of Saturday's game, some way to return to the top two? Oh well, yeah, the game went very well for us. It was uh, you know, a good start. You know, Giggy scored and we were in the own goal and we looked to be taking control of the game. Unfortunately, we give a goal away that. You know, it's amazing to see as a manager the impact that goals have on games. It's for the next ten minutes it was anything but comfortable. You know, the whole atmosphere in the ground changes, did the lads get nervy and edgy quick. You know, and it's like we said at half time, if we'd have come in winning one nil, we'd all be quite comfortable. But because MK got the goal, it's it's just a little bit of nervous energy comes into it and I thought second half we got back to what we were about and I thought we played well, it's probably as good as we played for a little bit now. So really pleasing, you know, but as I say, you just move on to the next game, it's it's the same week to week, isn't it? You know, you just move on and we're not we're not into no illusions tomorrow night, it'll be a really difficult game for us at Rochester. And in terms of that second half, you've had a number of times this season where you've been leading at home at half time and, and not really sort of kicked on in that second half and put a team to the sword like that, but that was a, a really pleasing aspect. Yeah, it was. You know, it's always nice to win well at home, isn't it? You know, it's it's it is what it is. You, you, you can't you know, you can't sort of highlight if things go well it's always never great. If it doesn't go so well, it doesn't keep going and say the same but we're in a league where, you know, with 83 points and seven games to go, the majority of teams are looking for a win or two, aren't they, to be home and we're not. You know, and that's the same for Shrewsbury, the same for Blackburn. You know, we put, put all three teams must stay focused and just go for the next game because, you know, it's like you debate and everyone who phones me has the same debates, but none of us know. You know, we don't know, you know, Blackburn are down at Gillingham tomorrow and go to Bristol Rovers, ourselves are away at Rochdale and then a tough game at Rotherham. You know, Shrewsbury, that, but none of us know. You know, so just get as many points as you can is the most important thing and hopefully it'll be enough. In terms of the team news, everyone's been fit over the last few weeks. Sean McDonald's been sort of stepping up his recovery. Any chance of seeing him before the end of the season? Yeah, I'm sure there's a chance of seeing Sean. It's just difficult getting games into Sean. You know, if he was to play an amount of games, it would progress his sort of rehabilitation quicker. Sean's training with the first team lads every day. He's not missing anything now. You know, he is fit and available for selection albeit probably just a little bit ring rusty if you like so you know if I, if, if it come to a stage where we put Sean on the bench or we recall Sean I'd have no problems doing it that's for sure. It's a case of everyone who's not in the team then chomping at that bit waiting for that opportunity and when it comes around season. Oh, yeah, listen the lads have been great it's it's not easy you know the hard part is leaving subs off the bench you know Devante never got on the bench this weekend Jay Fulton you know Jay Fulton's last couple of games with two wins away at Walsall and Berry and hasn't been on the bench. You know, and as a manager, it's so difficult that side of it. It's it's great credit to the medical lads and you know the physios and also the lads themselves for the recovery and everything going well. And, you know every squad member being fit and available for each game. And you know any time we've asked anyone to come in, they've done great. And as I say, over a season, it's a squad, stroke a group of players that get you success. If you get any, if we're not to get success, it'll be the squad and the group of players that does that as well. And every footballer wants to play, but there's also that camaraderie within this group in terms of if they're not playing, everyone's mates and they want everyone to be doing well. I can tell you the best moment of training yesterday. James Vaughan missed an absolute sitter in training and Gary Roberts was rolling round on the floor <laughs> laughing. So I think you can imagine Vaughan, he gave him a bit of stick on Saturday <laughs> on the pitch. You know, and that's what it's about. The lads are in a great place, you know. We look for things, you know, Griggy scores his hat's a goal and Vaughan he's jumping up and down on the sidelines. I love that as a manager. I think, you know, for any team and, you know, supporters doing that, then they want to pick every team and different stuff. You know, as a manager, my job is to give the lads confidence to go and play. You know, and on Saturday we looked a very confident team. We, we had strength and depth. We had a good, good subs bench. You know, everything went well. You move on to the next game. It changes quick in football. None of us was that stupid, but the lads are very much behind each other. And a chance against Rochdale to open that gap to Shrewsbury to five points. Seems like an absolute mountain, doesn't it? Five points ahead of Shrewsbury. Wow. I think Shrewsbury at the minute, you know, I know they've had the disappointment to Wembley, but I'm sure they'll bounce back from that with Paul's staff lifting them quite quickly. They're having an absolutely outstanding season. You know, Paul was named manager of the year in our league and it's absolutely fully deserved. Do you know, if we are to get to 86 points tomorrow night, it'd be an amazing achievement with six games to go. It just shows you what Shrewsbury have done and Blackburn this year. You know, both teams are having outstanding seasons. I think whatever two teams go up will totally deserve it. But unfortunately, whoever misses out will be a very unfortunate day. And against Rochdale, after the game against Manchester City, how important was that performance at home that you put in against them at that stage of the season? Well, I think if you look back, it wasn't so much the performance that was important, it was the result. Do you know, we made a lot of changes in the game. We felt it was important to do that. You know, we probably changed systems within the game a couple of times. I think we went to three at the back at half time because Rochdale were a threat. 
you know, watch Rochdale win at Berry last week and it was a good win for them. Do you know they beat Shrewsbury last week three one at home? They were three two up going into the depths of the game against Portsmouth and looked like comfortably seeing the game out. Unfortunately for Keith, he never. Do you know did a very did, listen. You know Keith's one of the outstanding managers in the division. He has been for a long time. You know he continually gets the best out of his players and overachieves as a club. You know this season they haven't done as well as probably people would expect. Surely that's on the strength of what Keith's done in the past. I'm sure Rochdale will get out of trouble. Just hopefully tomorrow night's not the night that they take the three points. Yeah, since that meeting they've had one defeat in nine. It just shows the work that, that Keith Hill and his staff do there. He's got Keith very not very lucky. Keith has outstanding staff around him. You know Chris Beach, Tony Ellis, them lads over there. You know you'd never come out of Rochdale with anything other than a very tough game. It will be tough tomorrow night. Every ball will be contested. It will be a, a ferocious tempo to the game. And you know they also play the game in my opinion the right way with a smile on the face. And you know they enjoy the football. I enjoy going to Rochdale for the games. I always have. You know, we've always had competitive games with Rochdale, I'm sure tomorrow night will be no different. And it's a game that was originally postponed due to the pitch, that's since been relayed and it should therefore give a nice platform for both sides to go out one another. Ah, listen, it'll be a good game, it'll be a good crowd tomorrow night, I'm sure Wigan will travel well to the game. You know, Rochdale are still, you know, not fighting for their lives, but they're still in that stage where, you know, wins are important. I think teams above Rochdale will be fearing them, because I think the teams above them will expect them to get out of the trouble. You know, I do fully expect Rochdale to stay up. I think Keats got that quality and the squad have got that quality within them. You know, they carry live threats. You know, they're a good side. So we know we've got our hands full.